When Manchester United score a 90-second minute winner, you can't help but have a smile on your face. Man United 2, Bournemouth 1. A tough away game given how good Bournemouth have been this season. But Marcus Rashford made all the difference right at the end and Manchester United come away with three points. Let me know what you think about the match in the comments. But my immediate reaction to that is I really want to forget that the first 30 minutes of that game ever existed. And I really want to talk about the last 60, but let's go through it. That first 30 minutes, it really was atrocious. Bournemouth in complete control. You can see how good a job Eddie Howe is doing at Bournemouth. They were in complete control and absolutely deserved the lead when they went 1-0 up. It was a woeful bit of defending. If Callum Wilson didn't score it, there were a couple other Bournemouth players behind him who probably could have knocked it in as well. But 1-0 Bournemouth. And that first 30 minutes, I'm looking at Bournemouth thinking, I wish United could play like that. Bournemouth were in complete control. Everything looked easy for them. And I find it really strange how slow United are to get out of the blocks. You saw against Spurs, for example, in that first half. We were fantastic. Obviously, we lost that game. But that first half against Spurs, we were pressing out of possession. We were hard into the tackle and we were quick into the tackle. It's really happened since. Man United do not start games very fast. It's almost like we prefer being 1-0 down. That's when United start playing. And obviously, 1-0... That changed the game. United started to get into it. And the last 60 minutes of that game was all about Manchester United. Bournemouth had really had the majority of that first half. But after United equalised, United came into that match. And that second half, towards the end, you really felt United were going to score. We kept knocking on the door. We had chance after chance. Marcus Rashford missed an absolute open goal. It wasn't a good block by Nathan Ake. It was Rashford kicking it straight into his chest. where well, he could have kicked it anywhere else. And it would have been 2-1 Manchester United. But obviously Alexis Sanchez in that first half found Martial. And Martial ice cold. Five goals in his last five games. And it's amazing to see him in such good goal scoring form. But something I really want to talk about here is I feel that Mourinho's subs massively changed that game for the positive. And so much criticism is given towards Mourinho fairly for poor subs at the wrong time. But today, he took Mata off, he took Fred off, and he put Herrera on. And Herrera made such a big difference. And sorry, Marcus Rashford, obviously, because he scored the winner. But Fred, he played well, I think. Yeah, he did play well. But Herrera played better. Because he was more direct, he was more forward in his thinking as a midfielder. And when he got someone as bad as Nemanja Matic, we'll talk about him in a minute, awful. Matic really needs to be dropped, doesn't he? Matic is the last general of Jose Mourinho who hasn't yet been dropped. Plays 90 minutes every single week, even though he's an abomination of a midfielder at the moment. That might be, might, some of you might say that's harsh, but I don't think it is at all. Matic, the game passes him by painfully. And when you've got Ander Herrera on the bench and he plays like that, put him in the start 11. Ander Herrera with Fred and Popper, that's the midfield I want to see. And Popper again today. He might not get all the plaudits because he didn't get a goal. He got the assist at the end, though. What a cross that was. Millimetre perfect. And Rashford had the composure there at the end that he didn't show when he had the chance against Nathan, Nathan Ake when the goal when Begovic was on the floor. I'm just happy to see United doing that and coming from behind again and putting in that sort of performance that you've seen down the years from United but haven't seen too much from a Jose Mourinho team. But a 90-second minute winner is proper United. I'm delighted Rashford got it as well, by the way, because he really needed that. He needed to get the goal. I think Sanchez had a good performance that should boost his own confidence. I think our, our defence, though, is it the worst defence that Mourinho's ever had as a coach? I'd probably say so. Every time Bournemouth had the ball and they went forward, I was like, oh, God. You felt that Bournemouth could score. And I'm surprised that we went in having only conceded one in that first half. We should have conceded more than one. It wasn't an, it wasn't an individual who was an error in our defence. It's just our defence was just shit. Bournemouth found it very, very easy to cut open the spaces. I don't know, I don't know what our defence is being coached or how they're being trained, but it's almost like they can't defend. It really is like they can't defend. And Man, Man United's massively attack heavy in that the attack is where our strength is and the defence is... Probably the reason that we're not challenging for the title this season. I've always said that I still think our squad is good enough to compete for the Premier League title. But when your defence is playing like it's playing there, you can understand exactly why we're not competing for the Premier League title. But another three points. You know, I said 
before we played uh, Chelsea away, I said, Mourinho's got six games, I feel, to s- sort of prove himself as a Manchester United manager. Come out of these six games with the wrong sort of performances and the wrong sort of results, then you can really sack him. I, I, I feel at that point you could say, look, it's not working out. We've had Chelsea away, and that was our best performance we've had at Stamford Bridge in some time. Really good performance, deserved the three points there. Then Juventus happened, and United got horribly exposed against a world-class, elite-level opposition, and United fans were humbled because we found our level, and it's certainly not Juventus. And then we've had Everton and Bournemouth, which were two games on paper I said that it's a bit of a lose-lose situation for United because fans would have been expecting Mourinho's side to win those games against Everton and Bournemouth. No matter how good their form is, United fans would have expected the wins there. We got wins in both games, though. Tough games. Everton, we were in. That's probably the most complete performance we've had so far this season. And Bournemouth away, that game could have easily got away from us, but it didn't. We came back into it. Everybody dug in and we won with a 90-second minute winner. Now we've got Juventus away and then we've got Man City away. But right now, so far, I'm seeing a lot of improvement from United. I'm seeing slightly poor finishing, but Martial has come into form bang at the right time for Jose Mourinho. And the more he keeps scoring the better he's going to get. He's very much a confidence player and I'm loving what I'm seeing right now. And I'm loving what I'm seeing from United there. You've got to be happy with that. Ignore the first 30 minutes. Concentrate on the last 60. Let's take positives from a game when there are positives to take. And there's absolutely positives to take from that game. Three points. Man United up to the dizzy heights of seventh in the Premier League. Let me know what you think about the match in the comments. As always, drop a like on the video if you're new to the channel. Subscribe. 